Hey everybody, uh, I'm gonna try to tie this FG knot in under a minute. That is the goal, but um, usually it takes me like in the field um, a minute, 30 seconds, so we'll see. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna tie an FG knot using my braid onto my leader. Let's go. Kind of hard trying to tie this under the camera. One behind the tripod. Three. Just licked it. Cinch down my knot. Tight. You don't have to cinch it down all the way as long as you can see that everything's pulled. Finish with a residual knot. Oh. The FG part is done, but this is, I consider this part of my knot, so. There you go. Minute 16. So this is my IG knot. Let me zoom in on that. Sorry. Minute it was minute 16 I looked at it. There you go, this is my FG knot, and all you have to do now is just cut the ends off the the just cut the tag ends off. Yep. Let me try to get a closer look. My FG knot with the residual finish. Right here. Yep, so it's kind of important to uh, be able to learn this knot and tie it fast and tie it reliably. When I first started tying this knot, my knot was definitely um, right, but when I rushed, when I was in, in the field and you break off a line and then you have to tie a new leader, um, you rush it and that's when things go wrong. So it's kind of important to practice and get faster at this, but still make a reliable knot. So yep, that there it is right here. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and like this video. Alright, so I just attempted to tie this knot in under a minute. It was actually my first try. Um, and I was actually surprised to do it within a reasonable about, amount of time, I think. Because uh, when you're in the field, when you're fishing and your line breaks, uh, you not seeing what I'm going to be doing is tying an FG knot. So, yeah. So I'm gonna, right now I'm going to go over and show you guys step by step on how I tie my FG knot. So first thing you want to do is obviously have your stuff. Uh, I usually wear a pair of gloves on my right hand because I also cast with this hand and uh, you know this is to protect your hands. You need your braid, you need a pair of cutters or pliers that has uh, some cutters on it and you need uh, some uh, mono. Uh, mono or floral, whatever leader material you need. Um, so, this is my edgy knot. First thing you need to do, take your braid, make a loop, index finger and thumb goes through the, um, the loop, and then I'm gonna bring the two ends and wrap it around my pinky like so. This, and then I'm gonna use my pinky don't wrap it too hard because then you'll lose blood circulation. But I'm gonna take my pinky, all right? Pinch down the two to uh, the tag end and the main line to 
be able to put tension on my bow this is the bow and arrow method basically but it's a little bit different from what I've seen online so now you take your arrow which is your leader material uh, coming from underneath right basically I'm just going to twist my bow line onto my arrow this is the motion right here so you bring your your arrow out twist oh, oh forgot to tell you guys it's important to pinch your arrow and your line together so it doesn't move you don't, you don't, you don't want that moving when you twist the line on the twist will fall into place so that's the first twist, twist right there so I'm gonna show you guys here I take you take your your arrow bring it out twist your hand bring it back in untwist back all right so that's to me that's one pair oh that's two pairs on my line already my twist right here oh. okay so so that's two two pairs or four twists so far I usually put eight to eleven uh, eight to eleven pairs so that's 16 to 22 twists so do it again this is the easiest method I found to do this so if you're starting to get slack in here all you have to do is hold your bow and push your bow towards the back and that takes all the slack So out, twist, in, twist, out, twist, in, twist. Once you guys get this motion down, it makes tying this FG knot a whole lot faster. Okay, so basically now you just gotta release your bow and tie a half hitch here around both the main line and your um, Tag in, and that is your FG knot right there. Can you see that? So, and then uh, I do put on a was it a modified uni or the risotto finish, which is just tying another half. It, well, before you do that, you want to uh, lubricate your knot. And cinch it down. That's why I wear gloves because this part, when you're cinching it down, is pretty important. So I'm going to lubricate using saliva. Alright, so I got it tight here. Ideally, you don't want your braid to be crossing each other, but for, the, for just for this uh, video purpose, it's fine. So as you guys can see right here that's how the braid looks right now once you cinch it uh, the way to tell that it's tight is the braid the twist here the braids in the twist will actually almost turn transparent hopefully I could capture that for you guys all right let me zoom in all right zoomed in okay Pretty tight right there. Yep. You guys can see that the braid in here is basically transparent. And that's how you know your FG knot is tight. And you want to make sure you see that transparency go all the way through to the end of the knot because that's how you, that means that you've taken out all the slack and the braid is actually gripping onto um, the mono now or your floral your leader material now all right so next thing to do now is just finish off the knot you guys can actually fish like this just tie a couple half edges I like to do what they call the risotto finish or risotto knot to finish this all right so basically the risotto finish is um, a half hitch knot but you're just going back through the loop more a couple more times I usually do 
uh, at least three, but my go-to is four times. So that's one time I go through the loop. Two, three, four. Right. So now I slowly start to pull on this tag in and uh, just basically just start pulling away all the slack. I know a lot of guys tell you to unwind this loop. Uh, I feel like that just take too much time. You just go slow and when you get to this part I just keep pinching and it will just basically unwind for me and you'll be able to pull out all the all the slack that's in this residual knot. Right? When it, once you get down here I just cinch it tight and that's it. This is my FG knot. Uh, I've been, been tying this knot for like three years. So at first it was kind of sloppy and I didn't have, really have it down. But one day I just decided, hey, I'm going to learn this knot. I'm going to try to get better at it. And there it is now. All right, so that is how I tie my FG knot. So basically from here, you just snip off the tag ends on the floral this is just a pair of cheap um, cutters I got off Amazon uh, gets the job done I'll leave the link down below if you guys are interested it's pretty cheap it's like 10 bucks uh, and kind of like three years now and it does it's not the best but it just definitely gets the job done so There she is, my finished FG knot. So, all right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, everybody! Thanks for watching, but stop freeloading. I need you guys to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell, and be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And we'll see you guys on the next one.